So here's K2, right? And it's a whole bunch of high mountains and glaciers and stuff. And then I thought, you know what? Are these glaciers melting? Especially over here, there's a 7,100 and something metre peak there. And look at all these glaciers. And it's all doom and gloom in the USA. Look, things are melting there. But over here, why Asia's glaciers are expanding, not melting? Look at that. And I've See, this is NASA, this website. They're talking about temperatures. Obviously, concrete is going to be hotter than grass and asphalt is going to be hotter than concrete. Surface temperature. So we scroll down to here and we look at this dark sand dune. Dark means more sun absorption. And look at the temperature. It's lighter here, which actually means, looking at that graph, the lighter it gets, the hotter it is. And a good one here is this bit where there's forest and desert. Forest, of course, is cooler. See the purpley bits? Where's the, where's the gauge here? It is purpley is cold and, and clear is hot. So look, clear where the desert is, because the surface temperature is heated by the sun, and wherever there's trees, well, it doesn't get so hot. So putting that into perspective, this area here doesn't have any forest to start with. Look, it's just barren, barren land. So therefore, they're in their natural state, nothing's altered around it. So the glaciers are the same as they are, if not bigger. They say they're even getting bigger in this area here near K2. Meanwhile, in Glacier National Park, for example, in the USA, the lowlands around this area have been logged extensively and they started shrinking in 1927. They predicted to be all gone by 1948. They're still there today and the reason is is because the forest around the, the foothills has been devastated decades ago and has stabilised in a slightly less forested state and therefore the glaciers ceased to melt any further but were depleted nonetheless. So if we go here and have a look at Glacier National Park we see some high mountains and the foothills are surrounded by forests unlike in Tibet and when these got logged um, they're obviously not as green as they used to be see that that's a uh, depleted forest there all around the foothills that area gets hotter and the sun uh, the, the heat rises into the mountains and melts the glaciers so we don't have as much forest as we used to say a hundred years ago and there's your global warming answer right there.